What's up YouTube? Pat for the Slam Mountain here and I'm just bringing you um, a review here of the Bedrock Cairn uh, sandals. And so we're out, I'm out here on a hike with the wife, we're at Boulder Cave. I got some footage of the sandals, some foot, some footage of just the hike and the cave in general. Enjoy those footage, enjoy this footage, enjoy the hike, enjoy the nature, and then we'll see you back at the house to talk about the sandals and give you a good review of what they're all about. See ya. What's up guys? Welcome back to the house. Woo! Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little that little hike and adventure we had out at um, um, Boulder Cave with all the bats and everything else. And I hope you'll find this review and um, and look at the Bedrock Sandals Cairn 3D Sandal. So here it is, man. And, and in a nutshell, this sandal is what I think um, Chacos would be if they weighed two pounds less. I mean, I mean, really, whoever designed and, and set up the, the bedrocks was sitting and thinking to themselves, I want a Chaco sandal. I want that awesome ruggedness, and I just don't want it to weigh 10 million pounds. That's what this is. And I think they nailed it. It's a super adjustable and customizable feel for one because you have these hook and loop closures right here on the webbing that allow you to shorten or lengthen this strap tied with the actual um, pull on that strap and the back around the heels are all got the dust coming off. Check it out. I, I've been using them, man, um, to allow you to fix and customize how far back or forward your foot will go. In, you know on on the platform super tough materials there's actually a pretty interesting blog going on right now with uh, or, or picture blog with a couple of the the bedrock guys and there's a couple of people trying to through hike the entire PCT wearing only these and I'm gonna be honest I think it's totally possible uh, one of the things that I want to point out about this is these, you know, if you're looking into minimalist footgear, minimalism, the bedrock sandals are going to pop up. They're going to be one of those kind of like top wilderness outdoor minimalist sandals. Um, they're kind of sitting in the likes with like Luna and Zero Shoes and guys like that, the Luna sandals. This, this is where we're sitting. This model that I have here, the 3D model, is not purely minimalist and and let me sh explain what I mean by that it is minimalist in the sense that it has a zero drop the heel is as tall as the the front or, or the toes so it's perfectly flat along the ground which is kind of what you're after when you're sh which is one of the key things you're after when thinking about minimalism but also the idea of it being perfectly flat on the footbed and that's not what you're getting with the 3d it is what you're getting with the bedrock cairn but not the 3d Cairn. First off, we got these um, lifted details around the toes. I've thoroughly adored having these. It took a little getting used to because I have been so minimalist um, for a long time. But I do enjoy, especially when scrambling around, that my toes have a little bit extra to just grab onto on the footbed. And I've enjoyed that. And there is also, I don't know if you're able to catch it there very well or see it, but there is a bit of an arch. Right here is a bit thicker than right here. And so there is some arch support inside of that. And so you're not getting a fully minimalist sandal with the 3D. You are with the regular Cairn. Um, there is also another model called the Pro, the, 3, the Cairn Pro or Cairn 3D Pro. And it has a different sole on the bottom of it that is more um, successful at grabbing when it's wet. And one of the things I do want to make clear is that's possibly a really awesome thing. When we were scrambling around in the creek and going through the waterfall area, coming back, moving around the wet rocks, these things did not have hardly any grip on the wet, smooth rocks. And I mean, obviously it's a rock and it's wet and it's smooth, it makes sense. But if that's a situation you suspect you'll be wearing something like this in regularly, then I mean, get the pro foot, get the pro sole. Um, Cairn or Bedrock does say that it will wear out faster because it's, I think it's a softer rubber and it will mold around obstacles a little better. Um, 
But just, you know, know that when these are wet, they're super slippery. The other ones will be less slippery. They should be. Um, I've had a hard time taking these off. I just love wearing them so much. I love the fact that I can take them off quickly and easily and just be barefoot anywhere and then put them on and then I'm not barefoot wherever I go. I love the fact, I, I really do love the fact that they have this little bit of arch support in these in here. That's not going to be for everybody and that's that's okay. But one of the things that dawned on me while I was wearing them and walking around, because when I got the, when I ordered them, I didn't realize it had the arch bit in here as well. I thought it was just kind of this, um, the toe stuff. But after I kind of got used to it, I thought that's really kind of nice because if I go and I put on my my Vibram five fingers and I go and I run three miles and then I put these on, it is, it, it is nice to have that little bit of rest for my arch because I have extremely flat feet. A couple years, you know, about three or four years ago, I started exercising and slowly working my feet up into minimalism, changed everything for me. I mean, knee pain, back pain, almost all of that gone from having properly exercised and trained my feet into a minimalist approach. And, but having these arches sometimes is just kind of nice. It, it's a little bit of a rest. And I appreciate that. And I've, I've come to appreciate that. That being said, um, who would these be for? I mean, if you are a minimalist diehard, this is not the sandal you want. You probably don't even want a bedrock if that's where you're at. You're looking at sticking with Vibrams. You're looking at the Zero Shoes or the Luna sandals that are a little less sandaled. I mean, they are lighter. They don't weigh as much. And they are thinner. And so you get more of a feel. And so that's just the thing to keep in mind. Like if you really are a diehard minimalist, the Cairn 3D Pro is not for you. Um, or Cairn 3D. Uh, Bedrock does have even more minimalist model, the original or traditional. And so maybe that's something to look at for you. But the person I think these are really for is first off, either A, a, a long distance outdoor adventurer that likes a minimalist like feel on their foot. I think this is gonna serve you super well. And also someone that's transitioning into minimalism. Because it is flat, because it does have that little skosh of arch support in it. If you are the person that is transitioning from traditional footwear into a minimalist for health or for exercise or whatever you're after, I think this, this exact model is going to be um, very helpful in allowing your foot to get used to not having the traditional supports of traditional footwear, but having just enough of that support to where you don't burn yourself out or hurt yourself. And, and for that, I think that this is a phenomenal sandal. Um, this gets, you know, a total for this land seal of approval. I love them. I'm hoping to wear them for years on down the line. They seem, certainly seem rugged enough to do that. I've been wearing them for a couple of months now. Um, and I adore them. And I think that if, if those nuances and subtleties and ideas that I showed you resonate with you, I think you'll probably love these too. But again, if you are wanting a fully minimalist experience out of your footwear, this is not going to be the sandal for you. But this is a really awesome in-between, I think, and it's going to be very beneficial for a lot of people that are in transition or just want it to be a little bit tougher and not have to work as hard at it. So there you go. Shoot up any questions in the comments. Um, carry on the conversation. Uh, and, and, you know, make sure you're out there having a good time and staying safe and don't get eaten by a bear. We love you.